What is up, YouTube? This is Vault here, and welcome to the very first round of the Yugi Tuber King of Speed Duel Battle City Tournament. I hope all of you are just as excited for this series as we cover all the matches from this epic event. There will also be giveaways throughout the video, so be sure to pay close attention. But first of all, I'd like to kindly ask all you guys to subscribe to the Vault channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel videos. If you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to give this video a like and share it with your Yu-Gi-Oh! and Speed Duel friends. As we move on to round 1, here is the bracket with all the decks randomly assigned to each player. As for the guard cards, they were randomly distributed to 3 lucky players as we have MBT Yu-Gi-Oh who holds Slifer the Sky Dragon, Cyber Knight with Obelisk the Tormentor, and Rook's Table that has the Winged Dragon of Ra. Whether these players choose to include the Divine Powers in their decks is entirely up to them. Let's keep our fingers crossed for potentially seeing those god cards clash against each other for an epic anime moment. So, let's head on straight onto our very first match. We have Bear Bear who will be playing the Dark Magician deck against a Lamline from Speed Duel League who has the Magnet Warrior deck. Bear Bear starts first by grabbing himself Dark Magician with the Magician's Axe skill. A Lamb Lion plays defensively at the start with a set monster. But very soon, he is ready to counterattack with his Magnet Warriors along with the Magnetic Attraction skill to quickly search through his deck. And here it is, the epic moment that Bear Bear brings out the boss monster of his deck, Dark Paladin. However, the Magnetic Field spell does return Dark Paladin back to the extra deck and things don't look as good for Bear Bear anymore as Alarm Line takes the first game. Bear Bear once again grabs Dark Magician with his skill at the start of the duel, and Alarm Line goes first this time. The Magnetic Attraction skill is used to grab Valkyrion immediately and Alarm Line is set up. Bear Bear attacks strongly but with the Magnetic Field spell once again, it has surely made things much more difficult and tough for him. From there on, Alarm Line was able to easily take the control of the entire game and winning the second game for his entire match. Moving on to our second round 1 match, we have Cyber Knight with the Mass Beast deck versus Tetra who has the Fairy deck. Cyber Knight starts off with a defensive place, setting a monster with some back row cards. Tetra makes the first offensive move, attacking into Shining Abyss and very soon needs to utilize his Rise of the Fallen skill for additional defense. Cyber Knight continues to strike with the advantage until Tetra is able to make a pivotal play with Kelbeck and eventually brings out Air Knight Parsha. There seems to be quite a bit of back and forth with this first game so far until Tetra uses Valhalla Hall of the Fallen to special summon his boss monster of the deck which is Guardian Angel Joanne. Eventually Tetra was able to maintain his resources and Cyber Knight seems to not find what he needs with Tetra scoring the win for game 1. Cyber Knight chooses to go first and passes to Tetra where he sets a monster and Cyber Knight begins attacking with his monsters. He also prevents Tetra from advancing with multiple traps that removes all of his monsters attacking and here comes the epic moment with pre preparation of rights. Grabbing one of his ace monsters of the deck, the Masked Beast. A massive 3200 attack beater runs over Tetra's monsters. With such a powerful monster on the board, let's see how Tetra fights against this. Once again, Kelbeck has turned the game around. He then follows up with Hall of Valhalla once again, along with Angel 07, another powerful fairy type monster to secure his spot in round 2. We are now going to take a half time break as we will be featuring our free giveaway for round 1. We will be giving away one of each of every Speed Duel Booster Pack ever made 
along with the tournament packs 1 and 2. There is a very special Trials of the Kingdom promo pack as well. In order to enter, you will have to like and subscribe to the Evolt channel and comment down below on your favorite Yugi tuber for this tournament. Also follow Evolt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's it. The instructions will also be included in the description box down below, so be sure to follow them. The winners of the giveaways will be announced once the event is over. There will be more giveaways in the upcoming match round videos for the Yugi Tuber King of Speed Duel Battle City Tournament event, so be sure to stay tuned. Next up, for our third feature match of round one, we have MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! with the Union deck versus Rook's Table, who has the Espa Roba deck. Rook's Table starts off with a set monster and passes. MBT plays Union Hanger and summons Machina Gearframe, who has a powerful 1800 attack uses its effect to search and swings in. Rook responds with a funky creature swap play, taking MBT's Machina Gear Frame. MBT then is able to bring out his Union Monsters quickly with Frontline Base and equipping Z-Metal Tank to Wide Dragon Head. With both of them set up, MBT is now able to use his Union Combination skill to bring out YZ Tank Dragon and score his first game. Moving on to game two. MBT is able to strike quickly, dealing loads of damage in the early game to Rook. And once again, he brings out YZ, Tank Dragon, along with Union Scramble this time, which swarmed the field entirely. Unfortunately, Rook does not stand a chance against all those monsters on the field and MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! does score and take the entire match. Now, for our last match of the day with round 1, we have Milano with the Phantom Beast deck versus Kursov with the Kaiba deck. Just a quick reminder, since there were no dedicated skills for the Kaiba deck, Kursov is allowed to choose any other skill he wants within the Battle City box set for replacement. And the skill he has chosen is No More Mrs. Nice My. Both the Phantom Beast and Kyber deck contains powerful monsters that can potentially deal huge chunks of damage with one blow, but they heavily rely on spell and traps for any sort of counterplay. Kursov takes game 1 with Maha Velo and Mage Power combination which is certainly frightening to face with that massive damage it dealt. However, it is not enough to face Milano as he comes in strong back with game 2. With Manticore of Darkness, which has revival capabilities, just like that, Milano ties the series and the game 1 to 1. This is very exciting as this is our very first game 3 of the day. Milano starts off first and sets a monster with one back row card. Kursov tries to strike with Spear Dragon, but it will not pierce through the Phantom Beast Thunder Pegasus. Milano is then able to follow up with a strong monsters on the board and repels several plays from Kursov from then on. Manticore of Darkness appears once again pressuring the field as Milano takes game 3, winning his match, allowing him to proceed to round 2 semi-finals. With the special anti-rule in place, all players that win their first round gains access to their opponent's entire deck which includes their skills and god cards if they had any. I hope all of you guys are enjoying the series so far, and if you guys are, be sure to give this video a like and share it with all your friends that love Yu-Gi-Oh! and Speed Duel. Our round 2 match coverage video will be coming up real soon, so turn on that notification bell to be informed right away once it comes live. Once again, don't forget to participate in the free giveaway, details are in the description box down below, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. Stay tuned for the Yugi Tuber King of Speed Duel Battle City Tournament Round 2 Semi Finals. And this is a vault signing out.